Welcome, and we are going live right now. Uh, my name is Evangelist John Coram, and um, I just want to say thank you for tuning in to the night's broadcast. And tonight's broadcast, um, actually tonight's broadcast is a pre-revival um, service. And our service this week, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, is basically dealing with can I get witness? Can somebody testify? So the next five nights, we're going to have two, the first two nights is a pre-revival special. Getting people engaged and get ready for the revival that we are having on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday night. And this revival is online only. Um, it's not in, in my house. It's, I'm, I'm recording from my house, but you can only see it under the streaming services on Facebook. And if you want to know more about our uh, revival this week, contact um, Given Hope Evangelist Ministries at ghem.org at outlook.com or contact me through the other ministry through Facebook uh, by messaging or, or DM. Um, and we will get back with you so that you will know how you can um, look at our revival and see what is going on in our world we live in. The theme for the revival this week is about, can someone testify? Can I get a witness? And this theme was basically from Revelation chapter 12 and verse 11, which they say they overcame the they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the testimony of the saints. And also within the scriptures, it talks about they wasn't afraid of their, they wasn't uh, thinking about the life. They were more concerned about the saving power of Jesus Christ and how that through Jesus Christ, they were redeemed and saved because of the word of the God, the word of the Lamb, and the testimony of the, of the saints. So that is how they overcame the evil one. That is how they overcame Satan and his and the legions. So therefore, this week is about uh, people that stood up and they were delivered and set free by the power of the Lord, by the power of God, and they went out and told someone about their deliverance and about their salvation. So it is not just in from the New Testament, but it's also from the, no, the, the Old and New Testament. So I want to let you know that this is all about, can I get a witness? Can somebody testify? So as we go into now a uh, recording and of, of the song, let's be reminded that this song is done by Dottie People. I do not have a, um, the copyright of the song, but it's only about uh, um, a minute and a half clip. So let's listen to the words of this song as we go into our teaching. Thank you. 
So you have heard that song, and it's, a, it's about, can someone testify? Can somebody testify? I mean, you, you heard about uh, Daniel in the lion's den where God was able to uh, had Daniel to lay on the lions, and then you heard about the Hebrew boys in the fiery furnace, and that's what it's about. It's about God's um, came in and and come in and rescue people, and they and you see the salvation of God. You see the hand of God moving on the lives, and that's what it's about. It's about the testimony of the saints, the testimonies of those people that that have been delivered and been set free because of the power of God, and. I just want to um to encourage someone to continue on believing and 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 knowing that God is able. And and tonight I just want to 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 say that it's about um knowing the testimonies of the saints. And as I preach the word, see I preached the word yesterday, the church I attend and I belong to, and I gave my testimony. I I I I was able to tell them that sometimes we go through a valley, and within the va- valleys of dry bones, we cannot be discouraged. We cannot be um, uh, uh, depressed. But God is is pulling pulling us out, pulled me out of that valley, and He was enabled me to 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 get my fresh wind, um, uh, the fresh wind that blew blowed blowed on me, and God. Touch my life in a more most and valuable in a, in a powerful way, and also um, the wind, uh, the the fresh wind of God, the move of God can lift lift my spirit and cause me to move out of the valley, lift and praise the Lord, and 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 knowing that I can walk out of the valley, and 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 and, 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 and those months when I was in the valley, God was able to to to. Also, while I was in the valley, I realized some things and I understood some things. But yet, when when God did His work, when God, when I asked God, God, I'm 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 feeling low. I'm at my my my, my uh, weakest point. But it seemed like God is doing some things in my life. It just it's just great things that God has been doing done, done in my life, and I can't stop praising enough. I feel like praising the Lord. I feel like praising the Lord. And every time I praise the Lord, I get my strength. To get, uh, I get uh, um, the not the feeling, but my faith it takes me to a lo- different level. Elevation, um, elevating my mind and elevating my soul, elevating my spirit. So that that's my testimony. My testimony is this. My testimony is that God is able. God is able. And, and and some things that I went through in life and, and situations I came through, God was able to lift me out of that the 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 pit and the and the and, and, and it placed me into a righteousness state. See, this is my testimony. This is my testimony. And in my twenties, I was called to minister. I was called to be a minister. But in my 30s, I ran away from God. I ran away from the calling. And in my 40s, I realized this is what I, this, this is not what God called me to do. This is not what I, my purpose is. And even though some things fell upon me because I was, well, I was out of the ark of safety, I was not following what God had for me to do, then I realized that God has called me for a reason, for a purpose. And that purpose is to preach the gospel in and out of season. That that message was for for people online, so that they can get the word and understand who God is, and and knowing that even though God knew what was going to be happening in in 2016, God called me out to be a, a online evangelist, and He knew that in four years later. That he needed me to preach the word to those people that were not able to get to church, that wasn't able to go to church, the people that might have been in the hospital that need to hear a word from God and saying that you are able, you are able to survive, you are a survivor. And regardless of what may happen, regardless of what may come to place in your life, never give up. Never give up. You are more stronger than you think if you just believe in God and have the faith in God and knowing that God is able to carry you through. And sometimes, um, um, sometimes, um, and then also another point is that 
sometimes um, when we we know people know when they when God has ready is ready to call them home. They have the sense. They have the 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 the, the, the feel the, the sense. It's time for me to go. It's time for me to go. I'm ready to go and meet the Maker. So, but sometimes um, people give up too soon, and they not and they and they have not gotten their life straightened, not getting that right life right. But God is able. God had pity on them that had not given their life to God in the midst of tragedy, had not given their life to God in the midst of those things. Stop blaming God for those troubles in this world that we live in. It's not all God. It's all the, the enemy comes to, to come and to blind your eyes, to put your faults open you. And people are blaming God, and it is not even God's fault. God had nothing to do with it. But the thing that you need to know, that how do we overcome these obstacles we face in life? By the word of God, by the word of God and the testimony of the saints. Can I get a witness? Can somebody testify? You know the goodness of God. You have seen the goodness of God. You have, you have, you, you maybe have been um, uh, somewhere um, that you might have been in a situation that you thought you never, never could happen to me. But in the midst of everything, God gave you a second chance. God gave you a third chance or a fourth chance to tell others the good news, to preach the gospel, to tell them there is life in God. There is power in the blood. There is power in the blood. And I stand here to say that 40 years I've been, I had rededicated my life 40 years ago. And I was a witness of that, doing and motivating, trying to get young people to, to, to turn their life to get a better start, to motivate them to do what they need to do. Let them see and understand the, 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 the things of God. And these were people, these were young believers in the church. But they thought I was too radical. They thought I was too, too strange for them. They thought I was a Jesus freak. I'd rather be a Jesus freak than, than, than a, uh, 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 somebody living for the devil and don't even know which way to go. So therefore, we got to be reminded, this is my testimony. This is my testimony. And, and, but eight years ago, about 10 years ago, I said, God, I need to do what you have called me to do. I need to preach the word. Lead me to somewhere when I can get involved or get planted, and then I can grow. See, first you got to be planted. And then you can grow. And then you can spring out. And then you can um, uh, become who God created you to be. But once you get planted in, in, into the word, into a, a place where you need to get planted and grow and, and let God use you. Because in the years of the pandemic, I wasn't able to, I was church hopping. But God was enabled me to be a blessing to others as I preach the gospel of Jesus Christ on, the, on, on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, whatever it may be, but I, I, but I really say that God, I'm turning this house into a sanctuary for you. I'm turning this place into a sanctuary for you. And when I preach the word in this house, let it go out into the neighborhood. Let it go out into my yard. Let it go out. So when people come into that on, on my grounds, they say, this is a holy ground. This is a blessed ground. They can feel the spirit as they walk and talk and as they walk into my house. So my house is a sacred house. My house is a house that, 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 that was established, that God had already established before a long time before I even got to this house. So therefore, I just want to say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for what he has done. Can I get a witness? Can I get a witness? Can I get a witness? Can I have somebody give me a, give me a witness? Give me a shout. Say, I am a witness for Jesus Christ. I am, I can I have a testimony. A testimony to say, for God I live and for God I die. Can I get a testimony? Can I get a testimony? You might have gone through a car wreck. You might have gone through some situations, but you came out to be a survivor. You are a survivor, and that's a testimony within itself. 
We can survive. We are survivors. No matter who you are, you have survived something in your life. You have survived something in your life. So this week, as we look into the scriptures, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we're going to be looking in the Acts. We're going to be looking at Genesis. We're going to be looking at Exodus. Or we're going to be in the Revelations and seeing what is that, um, the witness, what is the testimony of the saints? Oh, man. And then look at Stephen. He, that's a def- testimony within itself. He was stoned to death, but for, but for God I live and for God I die. He didn't, um, he preached the word with boldness. He preached the word. And look at Peter. He preached the word with boldness and power. So I'm telling you people that once we get up and testify and tell God, tell God's goodness, not, not saying that the devil has been on my track or been on my back all week, just saying that God has been my father all week. God has been in the midst of, and no matter where I went, I went over the bridge. I didn't even have a car accident. I went over this place and that place. But God, I'm, God had did it. God done it. And he's still doing it. So, uh, so I'm just like this short, brief message to let you say, can I get a witness? Can I get a witness? Can I get a witness right now? And say, I am a, I, I'm a witness for Jesus Christ. I'm a witness for God. For God I live and for God I die. Can I get a witness? Can I get a witness? Give me some hearts. Give me some some love. Show some love. So this let me know that you are a witness for Jesus Christ. You are a witness for Jesus Christ. And 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 um and not only that, but you are living in your life in the power of God, in the fullness of God, so that when 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 trouble or situation come your way. You, the first thing you need to do is going to lay, lay on your, you will just fall on your knees and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. I am a situation, but I give you the praise. I give you the glory because I know you can bring me out because I put my faith and trust in you because you have done it before and could do it again. Can I get a witness? Can I get a testimony? Can I get someone to say amen? And I just want to say, thank you, God. Thank you, God. That. What we see right now, what we went through the last four years, and we survived. Some people had, didn't even get a touch of COVID. That's enough testimony within itself to say, yes, that COVID didn't hit me. I was going to praise God and give God the glory. Some people did get COVID. They was in the hospital for so many days and so many years, but they got came out of that. That's a testimony within itself. Some people had COVID three or four times, but they still have survived. They still survived. That's a testimony within itself. So all of those things that we have gone through, be strong in your faith. Put on the full armor of God, and you can fight the good fight of faith, knowing that this time we live in, this season we live in right now, this season is a testimonial season. To get people back into the to the into the right place where they need to be, we, we we've been so many people. We've been walking in the valley of dry bones. We've been walking in the valley of dry bones, and we have observed and we have walked around. We have we have did our checklists off, and we say yes, yes, yes. But but we see the dry bones. We see the they are so dry and barren. The sun has totally scorched there and they got, it became so dry. But the, 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 the biggest thing is if they may be dry, but if we, if we give them the word and get, and, and ask God to restore them, ask God to bring them life, ask God to bring the wind upon their life, they can see and they can become, they can stand up on their feet and praise God. They can stand up and be who God can really call them to be. They can be a big, they can, those people that are dead, those people who are dead to God and things of God, those people have been were able to uh, live their life for God and, and they backsliding. If they can get the second wind, if they can be restored, if they can be renewed, if they can be transformed, if they can be in their mind, in their heart, in their soul. Think of the power. 
that they can have. They can have new life again. They can walk around and say, I'm lifting them. Get out of this valley. Lift my, lift my hands and praise the Lord. I'm going to let O devil get me down, down, down. See, that was a song within a song. And I'm just letting you know, it's time to take a stand and not stand and take it. It's time to be a, a voice in, in, in the in, 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 in the in the wilderness, it's time to be a voice. It's time to say, um, repent and turn from your wicked ways. It's time to be the watchman of the tower. It's time to be who God called you to be. And also, as, as, you, as God has called you to be something, that's a testimony within itself. That's a testimony. Can I get a witness? Can I get someone who can testify of God's goodness, of his God's power? And not only that, but what God is taking you to and where God brought you from. Many people have been abused, many people have been hurt, many people have been lied on, many people have been cheated, but they still survive, and they are um, walking in God's likeness. Uh, they're walking in the power of God and authority of God. So I just wanted to let you know, for this time and this purpose, is saying, be a witness of God. Testify of his goodness, and let people know that there is... Mm, can I get a witness? Can I get a witness? And as I go back, and remember, this week is all about, can I get a witness? Can somebody testify? And we're going to have the revival sermons starting on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. But this is a prelude or pre-revival special to let you know that get ready, get ready, get ready, because God is about to set things on fire, so we, uh, we, 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 we unite things that have been broken off in your life, and, and give you a new heart, a new spirit, a transformation, because this is a new beginning, this is a new season, and this is a time that we take back the territory that God has taken from us. See, soon on, I think it's um, July, uh, July 23rd, there's going to be a revival in the park, Riverfront Park. And, 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 and I'm sure people, if you can get to the Riverfront Park on the 23rd, and that um, uh, praise the park, it's called praise the park on, on July 23rd. And I just wanted to, in, in South Carolina, Riverfront Park, and, I would, and be a part of that. And I just want to say, continue to be strong in the Lord and the power of His might. And I just want to say, thank you, God. Thank you, God, for this day. Thank you for God for this hour we had to say thank you, God, and praise your name. And, to, and, and I say tomorrow will be a time of prayer, a time of, 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 of prayer that we need as I pray for this revival so that people can know and understand that through the testimonies of the saints and they bear a witness for God, that lives can be changed and souls can be delivered because it says in the word, they overcame by the, word of, by the, the blood of the lamb and the testimony of the saints. So therefore, the blood of Jesus and the word, the testimony, and they didn't, they didn't um, care. They, was, they, was, they didn't love their life. They loved Christ more. And so whatever they went through, whatever we went, we're going through, let's love God even more and more and more each day. God bless you all. Have a wonderful night. And remember, praise God. Continue to know who God is. And most of all, let the love of God continue to shine on you. And most of all, be true to yourself, be true to others, and be true to God. Thank you very much. This has been Evangelist Minister John Quorum of Given Hope Evangelist and Ministries. You can reach us at ghem.org at outlet.com if you want to know more about the ministry. And, and, and anything, just email us and we will give to back with you. So have a blessed day and continue to enjoy the week as we go out and, and minister the word on Facebook and YouTube so that God, so that people's lives can change and they come into a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. God, uh, God be with you and God's blessing will be upon you and have a wonderful and safe day. <laughs>